Hey guys, what's going on? DuffKing56 here, back to continue my Let's Play of Yakuza 3 Remastered. Welcome, welcome back. It might be one day for you, but it's been two weeks for me. I just survived a week of nights. 14 hour shifts could not keep me away from Kiryu, the best man ever. The man of the year, even. The man of the year. But seriously, what are we going to do today? Yesterday, we finished up with some basic cleaning up of things that we wanted to clean up before we moved on in the story. So today, we are going to be heading back to Ryukyu to see... Oh, Jesus. To see what is going on. We have whoop, some favors to pay back. The Prime Minister... Well, not the Prime Minister, but the Minister of Defense that we met a couple episodes ago. And uh, plenty of sub-stories that we actually have to take care of. So things that I'm actually very excited about. And then maybe eventually we'll get some experience points to level. But anyways, now that we have gotten 20,000 yen for our time. Oh my god, we even have like Hitman missions to do as well. So there's plenty of things to do once we cross to the islands. The taxi hopefully won't... Yeah, it's only 710 yen, dude. Like, I'm totally going to go to the airport. We're going to head back to Okinawa. Oh, well... Never mind, it's a little bit more than 710 yen, it's 30 grand, but that is a mere pittance to pay to be able to continue on the story. Something I'm actually very excited to get. We gotta get back to Rikia, we gotta go get back to the Sunflower, oh my god, or the Morning Glory, excuse me, there's so much to do. And there we go. Promised to Mia I'd save Toma from Joji Kazuma and the CIA, but first things first, I'll need to find Toma. Though I want to stop by the orphanage first. The kids will be thrilled to know I'm back in town. And hey, I'm guaranteeing... I, I can almost guarantee that this is an email from Mac. So let's go and check it out. A smack of Mac. Mac is back. How's it swinging, Kiryu-san? Just wanted to fill you in on some juicy deeds I slurped up the other day. You know Hatsumachi, yeah? Tons of interesting looking people roaming around there. Let me tell you. Speaking of... There's this old dude you might want to try to find. Just concentrate real hard once you do to take the glory. Word on the street is you got to press the R button. Well, I guess the R stick to concentrate. So, we have to go to Hatsumachi and we have to find an interesting person to focus on. Which should be, well, interesting. But we do have sub-stories. We do have a main story to do. Actually, the first thing I want to do is establish where the heck is the HIA here. There is obviously Hitman missions that we want to do, and of course plenty of sub-stories to take care of, like I said. But if we find the... was it the HIA? Oh my god, I'm like... The HLA, right? The, the, the Neighbors Association, I think. We need to find the building so that we can do more Hitman missions. But I'm not seeing it. We know where the Ryudo family office is. The stone market. All right, let's actually find Hatsumachi. I believe that's... Is that a street? I don't know. We're going to find out, obviously. We have, there's East Ryukyu Boulevard, Kataryu Street. Oh, uh, there's Hatsumachi. Okay, so we should probably do the Mac revelation before we do anything else. Of course, there are sub-stories for us to do, one of them being right here. So... What are these gaggle of schoolgirls doing? Let's listen in. Did you hear why Takahashi-kun hasn't been coming to school lately? They say the devil cat got him. You mean the one that creeps up from behind and haunts you till you're dead? Uh-huh. They say that if it ends up following you, a horrible tragedy is bound to happen. Well, Takahashi-kun is in the hospital. Heard he got caught up in a fight or something. You think it's the devil cat's fault? It has to... Look at, look at Kiryu in the background listening in. That is quite the shot. It has to be, I'm telling you. That cat is nothing but bad luck. Stop it, Haruko. If the devil cat hears you, it'll come for you next. That's really too bad, because I love felines. By the way, doing a lot, don't a lot of cats gather in front of Aqua Sky behind the station? Oh yeah. The owner's always putting catnip out, so lots end up over there. Maybe the devil cat's there too, rubbing tails with the others. Ah ha ha. All right, well, I guess we're probably going to have to check that out. I believe there's a long chain of sub-stories that go through, like, folklores into the Ryukyu, so I think this is going to be an extension of that. A devil cat that brings bad luck? That's absurd! So let's actually check the name of the sub-story here, and I believe, ah, as you can see, the seven mysteries of Ryukyu, as you remember. So that is two of seven. So there's plenty of stuff to us to do. And don't forget, we have to be looking for locker keys as we go. We've done a pretty good job of being thorough, but I think it's also going to be time to open up some of these lockers to actually see uh, what 
we can get. Like, are they going to be items, consumables, or anything else? Oh, is that the devil cat? Oh, look at him. He's so cute. A black cat? It certainly looks like one. <laughs> I'm not going to meow for you all. You can uh, worry about that another time. I think it's trying to lead me somewhere. It's probably going to lead me into a gang that taught it to bring people to the gang. If that is any indication, right? Like, it has to be. There's just no other way around it. There's a cat right there. Uh, we don't have any cat items with us. Unfortunately, we used it for the cat with the Italy mark on its back. But that's fine. Aha! So you're the crooked bastard trying to steal my precious snuggles, huh? Your what? My cat, asshole. The other day, I caught some high school punk trying to lure her away, too. You're gonna pay for this. I'll teach you to keep your filthy paws off another man's pet. Well, I don't know if Kiryu is necessarily a furry, but uh, I do like the pun of him using the word paws. But unfortunately, in his case, Moriyama is not going to have a good day. <laughs> Perhaps we've solved the second mystery of the Ryukyu Islands? I, I will anyone take my Mew Mew away. I'll protect you, Snuggles. I'm not trying to take anyone. Your cat was hanging out near that bar over there. Maybe it got out of its own. Huh? Is that really what happened? Meow. Sorry for the trouble, buddy. It's just that my cat... Sorry if you hear something in the background. Some asshole's revving his motorcycle. Anyways, it's just that my cat's such a cute little cuddle bug. I couldn't rule out a kidnapping, you know? Take this as an apology. You look like a fellow cat lover, so it ought to do you some good. A catnip stick? We just... Well, that would have been interesting to have for the other sub-story, but there we He wants me to have a good one. He's gonna run away with his cat, and I believe... That we solved the Devil Cat. So that was the Devil Cat. Looks like it really does bring people bad luck. And with that, we solved that mystery of the Ryukyu. So, uh, good job. So next on the order of business to is to head towards... Wait, is this the cat again? What's this? A different cat? Meow. See, I'm meowing now. You guys made me meow. Does it want some catnip? Let's give it catnip. We don't have any on us, right? <laughs> I freaking knew that we would need one. That is so just this game in a nutshell, right? Let's eat the Odin soup. And we can head to a C store. Would there be one up here? There is an M store. So let's go to the M store and see if we can buy a catnip stick. If we can't, we can always grab it from our item box, which we could probably... Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to fight right now. We also need to do Max Revelation as well. Unfortunately, we're going to get roped into a needless fight here. I say needless for this guy's internal organ's sake, because... Oh! Interesting, we got countered. Oh yeah, this is the part of town where people have golf clubs, just randomly. Alright, buddy. There we go. There we go. He's, he's not having a good day, I'll tell you that. Ooh, tiger dropped and blocked. That is... I am caffeinated, so my reflexes are on point today. I will tell you that much. Anyways, <laughs> this guy's a little bit bloody. For 5k, that covered one-sixth of our taxi fare, so... It, it certainly could be worse. Actually, wait, is there, um... What's this? Oh, okay, we got a locker key. Thank you very much. I did not see a flashing at all. Let's go and see if they have a catnip stick, like I was saying. There it is. Okay, so we can do some cat stuff here. And then maybe, since we're close to Hatsumachi, we can do the Mac Revelation. We just need to find... They said... Uh, he said that it's filled with interesting people, and we need to focus around to find out what's going on. So let's see... Aha! Huh. There's something over there. It might be worth taking a closer look. Oh, it's a locker key? Oh, shit, shit, shit. That is uh, great news. Let's uh, grab the locker key. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. I, I have to be this close. There we go. Okay. Locker key number 46. Let me just make sure I'm on, I'm on the right street, am I not? Yeah, this is West Tatsumachi. So let's cheat a little bit and see if we can find what we're su supposed to be focusing on here. Uh, I see someone in here, but I think this is just the guy... He's the guide, right? He's just the guy that we're supposed to be... Ta oh, there we go. This is a revelation just waiting to happen. Hmm? Oh, Hi, hi. 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 Hi.
No one gets off scot free after hurling a banana peel. Are you taking a nap on the street again? Or poor guy just had some tough luck. Oh, this is so tough. I'm going to go with the hurling a banana peel thing just because it would be interesting. So let's give it a shot. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Ah, we missed it. It's fine. We can always come back. It's not a large deal, but I'm sure it's the unlucky part. Actually, getting into a fight here would be to our advantage, because hopefully we can get the scenery change needed to prompt the revelation to return. But thankfully, it's not that far off. It's been so long since I've done a Kiryu blog that I'm just chomping at the bit to enjoy myself a little bit more. The revelations, they come so quickly, and then I feel like you use them so fast that you almost lose the opportunity to enjoy the fact that you're only collecting about 10 of them, I think, last time I checked. Oh my, oh my god. The thugs here are nothing to scoff at. Perfect. I honestly thought I would hit him with that bicycle. Let me see if I can, oh yeah. <laughs> Not a good day for him. Definitely not a good day for him. But. Ooh, a toughness ZZ. Uh, let's throw the... Do we even really care about this Baroque Pearl? Probably not. Let's take the toughness ZZ since we took some damage. And uh, maybe we can try... Yeah, he's still here. He's still here. Good, 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 good. We still have the opportunity to do our revelation here. We can try the next prompt and see if we get it right. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's got to be the luck one, right? Either way, it's pretty funny to watch this guy get comboed up. I almost feel like I remember this revelation from the last time I played the game. Because I definitely got all the Mac revelations before. And they're all just so good. They just... I believe it's also the same system in Yakuza 5. There are revelations that Kiryu gets. So it's a fun way to unlock new tech, right? There's the masters, which are fun, but this is the tech that's great. All right, let's see if we can get this one right. We have a one and two shot of getting it right, but the short one doesn't seem all very good. Let's get the poor guy just had some tough luck one. Yep, we did it. Very good. Very, very good. Oh my lord in heaven! A day in the life of the Dragon of Dojima. Revelations! Down on his luck. Another revelation. I took one look at this guy plodding along and knew he'd inspire me. Just as I readied my camera, he slipped on a banana peel. The peel then soared through the air and landed on a rugged looking guy's head. I'll let you imagine the rest. Oh, and the move I learned from this is really something else. The super finish, Hell's Gauntlet. That sounds absolutely fantastic, and this poor guy is just chilling in the street. Feel kind of bad for him, but also feel kind of whatever. I mean, it's just unlucky, right? If you learned that multi-grab throw combo Hell's Finisher thing, then he'd probably be a lot better against that thug. Sadly, that is something only the blogger Kiryu can do. So let's give this cat some catnip. Here you go. You gave the cat a catnip stick. Meow. Oh, he's very happy. All right, so where is this guy going to lead me? Is it going to be another devil cat? Because we didn't get experience technically from that sub story. I think this cat wants me to follow it too. So it's just going to be the tale of multiple cats leading us around, right? Please 
Give me some water so I can take my medicine. Hey, are you alright? Suddenly, I start having these chest pains, but I don't have any water to take my medicine. Please help me. Shit, we need to go get some water. Okay, let's go get some water. We'll head up to the M store, since once again it's right up here. And hopefully we don't have to fight anybody. Because we know what happens when people want to pick a fight with Kiryu. They always end up much more worse for wear. So let's grab some water. And we are unbothered in doing so. That is fantastic. Okay. It's a good it's a good omen. <laughs> All right, let's grab some water real quick here. If we can find some 30 proof Zampa, I mean, I'm cool with that. Let's see. Shantori Mineral Water. We are moving and grooving now. All right, let's go. Head back to this poor lady. Did not know you needed water to swallow your nitroglycerin, but hey, it's, uh, it's fine. I'm assuming she's talking about nitroglycerin, which I believe is sublingual, which means you put it under the tongue and it dissolves, but hey. You know what? It could be anything. It could it could literally be anything. Um, but I'm assuming for chest pain, she wants her nitro. So let's give her some water. Please! I need water to take my medicine. Wh what should I give? I don't know, Carrie. What should you give? Probably water. Here's some water. Drink up. Thank you. I'm saved. Well, that's definitely not a devil cat. That's an angel cat. Whew. You came just in time. That took the pain down quite a bit. Don't overdo it, old timer. Wait, why would... Jesus, Kiryu. Thank you for your concern. It looks like this little fellow came to my rescue yet again. Aw, oh, the cute cat. He always brings me someone kind and helpful whenever he sees me in pain. That's a good companion, all right. He sure is. People are always saying how black cats b bring bad luck, and I can't help but wonder why. This little sweetheart's been nothing but a blessing in disguise. <laughs> and the cat, of course, meows. Oh, yes, please take this for all your wonderful help. Just an old lady's way of saying thanks. And 10,000 yen? I bid you farewell. Come on, little kitty. That's definitely not the devil cat. Like I said, a blessing in disguise, huh? Now that's one lucky cat. Wait, is that it? Did we do the sub story? Let's double check. Oh, we did. We accomplished the second of the seven mysteries of Ryukyu. So that's good to see. And we got ourselves into upgrade range. So let's upgrade and grab the knockdown reversal and get tech to level seven. And uh, look at that, everything is 75 experience points away, which makes me a little bit nervous. Like, how the hell am I going to be grinding experience to max out my character? <laughs> I just don't know. I don't know at all. Let's go over here. This looks like another Seven Mysteries of the Ryukyu quest. Um, we also have that English quest that we have going on here, so let's go and talk to the shopkeeper and see what's up here. It's been years since our last Dine and Dash. How do I handle this? What happened? Wow, a dine and dasher. We haven't had one in almost 20 years. Hey, there he is, over there. Oh, he's like the thinner version of the dine and dasher from Kamurocho. What do I do? I can't leave the shop, but I can't just let him go either. Could you catch the dine and dasher? I'm sure I can find something to pay you with. Yo, we just maxed out our run. It's been a long time, so fine. I just need to catch him, right? Sorry to drag you into this. I'll make sure it's worth your time. Dude, it is always going to be worth my time. I think it's, is it RT? It's RT to run, right? Yeah, there it is. Okay, cool. And then, of course, we have our lunch. And we have the extra damage on the lunch, too, which is fantastic. I had a feeling he'd try something like that as we go. Oh, boy. We're, um, he's going to give us a, a bit of a run for our money here. Uh, but we're catching up here. We should be able to, I was going to say, we got two good hits in there. Oop. Uh, we lost a ton of, uh... There we go. Momentum is what I wanted to say. Oh, we got him looped really well here, and I just phased through a person, which is very odd. But we have the stamina, and he's running out, so one more hit and he should be good to go here. Beautiful. Took our time, we didn't get nervous. We caught ourselves a Dino Dash, and I wonder if he's wearing the same shirt as the guy from <laughs> Kamarocho. Ugh. Ugh. Are... are you... <laughs> hey, it's me! You know, the old Kamarocho Dine and Dasher. Wait, you're that Dine and Dasher? But... Oh, I tried, but I just couldn't give it up. <laughs> I dashed my way across Japan and, well, look how much weight I lost. 
I run a popular blog too. Maybe you've heard of the Dine and Dash diet going around? <laughs> Something wrong? Never mind. Just come back to the shop with me. <laughs> I love this. Pork rib noodles. Bitter melon stir fry. It comes to 2300 yen. If you can't pay, you can wash dishes for me. I'm so sorry. I just can't help myself. Pay up, man. It's not that hard. I'll let you go this time, but remember that dining and dashing is a crime. Don't ever do this again. Thank you for bringing him to justice. I just don't know what kids these days are thinking. And we got a gold plate? Dude, I am totally down for the gold plate. Thank you so much, Mr. Shopkeeper. <laughs> I knew it'd be you. You're the only man who can catch me. Look, just give it up. Oh, <laughs> yeah. My new diet made me famous, and I even got a girlfriend. That manager from the gelato place, remember? I've got a thing for strong women. I sort of fell for her when she was scolding me, and now we're on a vacation together. <laughs> so, what I'm trying to say is, I'm done for real. Today marks my final dash, because no matter what thrills I get from it, it can't compare to the special lady in my life. Well, if things didn't just come up Millhouse, I just don't know what would. I don't get it, but at least he's done. And we got 8,000 experience points for that. That's a pretty darn good long sub story chain that is finally finally finished question mark but to have that guy being done with dine and dash and we've done ryukyu a huge huge favor so let's unlock this next sub story as we continue to ignore the main story now listen yoko never came back home yesterday i know you girls are with her a lot so please did you happen to see my daughter anywhere she forgot something at school yesterday and went back for it that's the last time i saw her in front of the station she never came home? Yoko doesn't seem like the type that would run away. Maybe she was kidnapped by the Phantom Tour Guide. Haruko, don't say that, especially not in front of her mother. What's this Phantom Tour Guide all about? It's just a silly rumor going around like an urban legend or something. Don't worry about it. Still, there might be some truth to it. Huh? I asked a shopkeeper in this area, and he said he saw a high school girl walking with a foreigner yesterday. Couldn't that high school girl have been my Yoko? But that phantom stuff's got to be a rumor. If people were vanishing around the travel agency, it wouldn't have been a huge news. It would have been a huge news story by now. I suppose you're right, but still, a high school girl walking with a foreigner—that could have something to do with my Yoko. I see. I see. Um, why do we need to listen again? Is it the same thing? Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. So we need to find a foreigner walking around with somebody. Hey, who's this guy? Hey. I'm Tom. If you want to see a military base or get to know this place, then I'm your go-to guy. How about it? I could show you to a nice barbecue spot. Their service is the best in town. Wasn't there rumor about people being abducted by a foreign phantom or something in front of the station? How about it? I'll give you a fine tour. Um, let's uh, accept his offer. We'll go on a tour. Fine. Show me around town. That's what I like to hear. You look like a drinking man. How about I take you on the special adult tour today? Oh, why, thank you. What do you think? Pretty happening place, huh? And that special cocktail will have you feeling fine in no time flat. Sounds like you're going to get it drugged. That was pretty good. That's right. Drink up. Feel the liquid enchantment. And once that nice sake kicks in, I'll let you... Wait, I'll let you tour some nice beaches, if you know what I mean. <laughs> He's probably going to try to throw us into the ocean, huh? Hmm? Yeah, no, Kiryu totally got knocked out, right? What the... I hardly drank anything, and I already feel so... Ugh. Huh. I put enough shit in there to knock you out, and to knock out five horses. Nighty night, motherfucker. Damn, dude. Poor Kiryu. He didn't deserve this. He didn't deserve this. I thought I told you to target girls. What the hell am I supposed to do with this giant oaf? Sorry, chief. But hey... He's one hefty dude. I'm sure someone would pay good money for a guy like him. Maybe so. Who's paying good money for me now? Oh, shit. <laughs> dude, you drank enough tranks to knock out a sumo wrestler. Just what kind of monster are you? So that's your game. You pretend like you're a nice, helpful tour guide, then kidnap girls for profit? You're the monsters here, and you're gonna pay. Damn it. He's hip to the game now, boss. How are we going to get out of this one? We slit the bastard's throat to keep him quiet. That's how. Okay, well, 
you're definitely not going to be slitting my throat, question mark? Um, it's funny, nobody expects Kiryu to be a drinker, but like, dude, Kiryu drinks every drink in every bar in every game in every territory, so like, what do you want, right? <laughs> He's just going to out-drink anybody. There we go. Ew. Are we going to do it? We going to do it? Oh my god. We didn't, but that was still fun. <laughs> Poor Henry. Poor Henry. He should not have ever tangled with poor Kiryu here. Oh, I love it. Good counter, too. Let's see if we busted this entire ring without doing another leg of this quest. You're one crazy bastard. You kidnapped a girl, didn't you? Where is she? Talk. All. All right. Yeah, dude, you better talk. Aw. Thank you so much. I thought I was going to die. You're safe now. now. How should I deal with these idiots? Maybe I should give the local police a call. Maybe you should. That was the police, by the way. Uh, I was going to say, when is the black screen going to finish here? Yoko, you're all right. Mom. Ooh. I, I was so scared. Don't you ever worry me like that again, you hear me, young lady? Never. Oh god, the cop's gonna come. Oh no. We can't thank you enough. Looks like this two-bit crime syndicate was abducting tourists and forcing them to work. Or worse. That type of activity isn't easy to track in a town like this. It's despicable how they took advantage of the people's trust here. Yeah, I hope they stay locked up for a long, long time. Ever since that phantom tour guide rumor started gaining momentum, the number of tourists in this area has dwindled dramatically, and these places depend on it. That's why the syndicate started preying on local high schoolers. Talk about a couple of twisted minds. Indeed. In any case, your cooperation has been vital in bringing this operation down. We really appreciate it. You don't realize how much this means to me. I just don't know what I'd do without my little girl. Please, take this as a token of my thanks. I'll certainly take the 30,000 yen, 3,000 experience points, pretty darn good as well. And Kiryu can put a feather in his cap and, and feel a little bit better about uh, how things are going right now. So, is there a taxi down south? There definitely is. There's probably one more sub-story that I can squeeze in before I try some of the main story. So let's take a taxi. Let's go down here. We can... Save those two sub-stories in the southwest for a little bit later. Um, I always like seeing what's going on by these lockers over here, so it's always a main draw for me, I guess is what I want to say. So, let's go upstairs and find out what's going on. She's looking a little bit distressed. She's looking for an item. Was it around here? Yeah, <laughs> This sucks. What's wrong? I lost a key somewhere around here. You haven't seen it, have you? A key? Can't say I have. Shoot. I live on the third floor here, and I know I had it when I left my place. So if I dropped it, I must have done so somewhere around this building. Or maybe it was when I was looking out that window. I bet I can find it if I look hard enough. Oh boy. Could you let me know if you see a key around here? Thank you so much for your help. Alright, so let's see if we can find a key. Um... We're gonna be looking for something shiny, obviously. And, uh, it might be up... Some oh, I see it. Hey, what's that? That might be the key that woman was talking about. I'll have to tell her about it. All right, let's tell her about it. <laughs> Where did I drop that stupid key? Hey, were you looking? You were looking for your key, right? Hi. Yes. Did you find it? Maybe there's something up on the edge of that hallway on the third floor. The third floor? Oh, that could be it. I'll check and see. Could you just wait here for a second? Dude, all, we, all we've been doing is just waiting and chilling. We're, we're totally fine with that. That was it, all right. What a dumb place to drop a key. It must have fallen when I was looking out the window. Unbelievable. Thank you so much. I don't know if I could call this a reward, but here. You got Ryukyu locker number 33. A locker key? Yes, a locker key, Kiryu. What, what did you think? <laughs> oh, yes. If you look hard enough, you'll find them all over this place. I don't know why, but people are so careless with these things. I found this one earlier and opened the locker, but I had no use for what was in there. I bet it would come in handy for you, though. Anyway, I have to hit the road. Thank you again. K 
care you saved another life. That sounds vaguely illegal. But hey, no point looking a gift horse in the mouth. Looks like I have a locker to open. And 2,000 experience points. Thank you so much. So let's... Oh, there's a locker key on top of the lockers. How about that? Q locker key number 38. So let's open number 33 because it's part of this quest in a way, right? Oh, a hyper stun gun. All right, we're cool with that. And uh, yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll certainly take it, right? Like who wouldn't want a stun gun to fuck around with, right? Let's uh, let's equip it just because. Uh, would it be like this? Yeah, we, we would. So we'll equip that over there. It doesn't have the best attack. But then again, like, do I really care about that? We don't really need to use weapons to, like, do anything we want to do. But anyways, what I want to do is take a break. So I know I can definitely do that. So I'll see you guys next time. We'll do a couple sub-stories in the south here, and then we'll continue with the main story. So thanks so much for watching my Let's Play of Yakuza 3 Remastered. My name is Duffkin56. Peace out. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.